My name is Ted Fitzgerald. I'm a retired teacher. I spent 35 years teaching junior high language arts. Other than that, I work uh, part-time at a neurosurgical practice in Lancaster, and uh, my wife is pleased with that because it keeps me off the streets and out of trouble. I had a cough that just wouldn't quit. After I visited my family doctor, he recommended that I go to the pulmonology people at Lancaster General Hospital. We went for the x-ray, found a a uh, small spot on the uh, upper right part of my lung. And from there, uh, we went to see a pulmonologist who uh, did a biopsy, and it turned out to be cancer. As soon as I found I had lung cancer, I went online and looked at uh, local hospitals. I looked at Hopkins, I looked at Penn, I looked at the University of Maryland. Uh, I spoke with my son, uh, who, whose friend had had some terrific results at Penn. Uh, I started looking uh, seriously at Penn Medicine, uh, specifically at uh, something called proton therapy. My experience at the Roberts Proton Therapy Center was remarkable. Once we discovered that I was a, a candidate for proton therapy, uh, we talked about scheduling and I was told that this would involve 36 consecutive weekdays of proton therapy, uh, each treatment taking approximately 15 minutes, and of that 15 minutes, about 10 minutes involved positioning on the table and five minutes of actual radiation. At the end of the treatment protocol, uh, there was a bell that you rang, uh, and uh, part of the fun of that was uh, you had your support system there. Uh, I didn't expect my entire support system to be there. I opened the elevator doors, and there was my granddaughter. Hi, Pop Pop. <laughs> I never expected that. And we rang that bell with tremendous vigor, uh, and that was, the end of, uh, that was the end of the proton therapy treatment. I think it was something in the nature of, of four months, uh, after which I went back and was given an MRI, and the doctor got the results of the MRI and started scanning through it, and uh, he looked at me and said, where was this? <laughs> it really made me feel good. He said, oh, there I see, there it is. And he says, all you have left is a one centimeter ball of dead cells. And I said, well, thank God, and thank you for Penn Medicine, and thank you for LGH. The doctors at Lancaster General and the doctors at Penn Medicine were absolutely wonderful. Very down-to-earth, uh, great sense of humor, extremely knowledgeable, gave me terrific advice. Uh, and if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today.